following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan, the console wars truly start off. Shall we play again? Oh shit! God forgot. damn it! <laughs> Welcome to Woo! another episode of Nude Clan, the podcast that no longer reviews video games. We just debate things endlessly. We just sit in so, the past. Uh, I'm your host, Avor Extreme. I'm Caleb. I'm Joe. And I'm Zach. And uh, <laughs> we didn't really have another topic for this week's episode, so to we're going to kick that. off the great <laughs> console debate yeah we were gonna do like halo fast food debate but for video game consoles yeah we were gonna do halo 4 but we have two people that don't remember the game and two people who haven't played the game i so. just need a refresher that's what i needed i didn't have time to prep anything i i needed a refresher the second it ended so you know i understand <laughs> <laughs> but we will review halo 4 someday uh, we will also review Fire Team Raven someday as well. Or yeah. did we do that one? No, we never did. Oh, we, we have to go back it? to the arcade and play it again. Yeah. Might have to. I mean, because I don't remember anything about Fire Team Raven. Might have to. I'm not against that. Ooh, there's one in the Aura Mall here now, Joe. A Fire Team Raven, and I think that one would be better because it's quieter, oh, so we can actually nice. hear the cutscenes. Nice. Know? Yeah, that's really important. Yeah, probably oh, yeah. a good <laughs> idea because it is. Yeah. Yeah. Not that not that the cutscenes matter, not like the dialogue that's <laughs> happening really has anything to do with anything, but yeah. Yeah, I mean it's basically ODST. Um, I'm really like there. I'm really there at the minutes. arcade to experience the story. Yeah. Can you guys shut up for a minute? I'm trying yeah. to listen that's to the story. That's how I like to watch my porn and at in the your arcade. Car? I just like the story part. I oh. skip through the sex. And you're like, come on. It, He's like, milk. he fixed her drink, her sink. It's wonderful. Yeah. You know, he he it's he makes a, a joke like that, but the context of the porn is often like the hottest thing. So <laughs> they deliver. Oh yeah, pizza? I forgot you I'm make just porn. Ah, that's right. Sometimes I forget that. No, he doesn't make porn. He, he says weird when he porn. says weird I'm just things saying, like that. It's I'm an like, important the factor. Oh. There we go. Yeah. It's an important factor. Listen, There's Joe, maybe if you decided like to film something that. more potent like porn, you would be making more money. We had like a bed scene that's kind of sexy for a minute in the chicken coop. Yeah, when are you going to get into like directing art house fucking erotica? <laughs> they're just not, she's like on top of him and they're just whispering to each other. It's not actually that sexy, but it's there. But your dick was out. <laughs> <laughs> dick was definitely not out. <laughs> yeah. Want don't that to be clear. Don't spread rumors about don't you. Don't spread rumors. <laughs> don't yeah. spread. I was already bad enough. I was high in the middle of the shoot. Yeah. <laughs> They're true. starting to call Joe the Harvey Weinstein of Utah. So, I mean. <laughs> yeah. A4, shut the fuck <laughs> up. It's not even funny. Uh, or the Louis C.K. The Louis C.K. of Utah. Uh, so I, I that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Pull your dick out. Hey, you want to watch me Not masturbate? nearly as bad. Yeah, permission. Yeah. He's like, hey, you want to look at me? Uh, I'm gonna fucking jerk off in front of you. <laughs> uh, I have 32. Hey, no, it's not, your it's not, it's not okay. Impersonation. My dick's already out. It's not okay. No, it's not okay. But it's already here. It's out. It's fine. Uh, you've already seen it. Like what? What happened? What you know? God. What's what's making it cry a little bit? I have 32 consoles and handhelds here God, uh, on this bracket. They've on. been. I clicked the randomize button like five two. times to seed them randomly. So if you don't like the way they're seated, blame God. Um, <laughs> Joe does. Hopefully does. you guys have heard of all of these. Some of them you might not have, but uh, I'll try to walk you through all of them. 32. Are you ready? I want God yep. to know I don't blame anything on God. <laughs> Casey exists. It's not your fault, guy. I also know that God would, you so know. So the first, the first. They're omniscient. They would know first exactly what I'm thinking and why. So I don't. Yeah. yeah, so why did you need the need to apologize? Yeah. 
We get it. They know the context. All right, sorry, A4. What is the first bracket of this video game bracket? It's fine. Uh, the first bra- the first matchup is the Neo Geo versus the PlayStation 4. What's the Neo Geo? The Neo- Do you even know what the it's Neo Geo is? another handheld, isn't it? Let's no, look. it was like a it was like a system that um, SNK put out that like mm. it used the same cartridges in the arcade as it did in the home. So you basically had arcade quality games in at home. Cartridge it was like based arcade because of that. arcade system board and fourth generation video game console released in 1990. Um, it's 24-bit uh, and uh, 8-bit coprocessor with its GPU chipset. Had a 24-bit data bus. So yeah, he's right. There was a arcade version, and then they made like an at at home console version. Um, it's legacy. Is That's that kind of cool, actually. It was the first home game console to feature a removable memory card for saved games, which the PlayStation 4 was already gotten rid of by that point. Um, it had a small library of Neo Geo games, um, which you can also... Some of the games have appeared on the Wii's virtual console. Fatal Fury, yeah. uh, King of Fighters, Art of Fighting, King of Fighters 94, and World Heroes uh, are the ones that appeared on there. Um, other games like Fatal Fury Special, Samurai Showdown 2, Metal Slug 3, uh, Garu, Mark of the Wolves, um, a bunch of obviously really popular games that have stood the test of time. Uh, yeah, I no, mean, they he, are, those are looking popular, at, like, they're our popular games. Looking um, at everybody's blank faces around me at the table, I could uh, I raised my kids no, on the, Garu. They are popular games. Like, they just came out with King of Fighters 15. Like, that series is still going. Yeah, I've heard of King uh, of Fighters. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard of any of the other ones. <laughs> never heard of Metal Slug? No, I've never heard of Metal Slug. I th- honestly misread it as Metal Gear Solid before I started speaking. And you're like, holy shit. Yeah. Um, the PlayStation 4, a uh, little known console. Yeah, little little <laughs> little known game series uh, called from, God of War. From 2013. Conan Exiles. <laughs> uh, Blu-ray player, uh, internal memory. Uh, as well as digital distribution for a lot of its games. Right, but like what? I mean, like here's the thing: we can't really go get with specs against specs. Like, oh, I feel like that's part of it. I feel it's like part that, of it. Yeah, it's but all I mean, part of it, Zach. It's all I'm willing to part bet, of it. I'm willing to bet based on the fact that none of you knew what the Neo Geo was, and you don't even know what its library of games is. That all of us are voting for PS4. Oh, here's Four. what if you're what if you're really. <sighs> Maybe you hate the PS4 for some reason. You just hate it. Yeah, what if you're an Xbox <laughs> cuck? Yeah, but yeah. Who, do, do any of us hate the PS4? No. No. <laughs> well, then there you go. That was so meek. <laughs> that was so meek sounding. Jo- no. I wanted to go over the system more, you know, talk about go it. Go over it, please, bit. please. No, 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 it's too late. Everybody was fighting against me, and I closed my phone down. Yeah, let him be a uh, well, Look, PS4 <coughs> is probably at least the second best PlayStation, if not the best PlayStation. Here's the deal. Ever yeah, I'd have right. to agree with that. We got the biggest games on the PS4 include God of War, which is the biggest game on the PS4, it looks like. Uncharted 4, uh, Marvel's Spider-Man, The Witcher 3, Horizon Zero Dawn, The Last of Us, remastered. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, Ghost of Tsushima, Infamous Second Son, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Monster Hunter World, The Last of Us Part Two, Cyberpunk 2077, Detroit Become Human, Crash, Final Fantasy XV, Spyro Reignited Trilogy, Kill Zone, Shadowfall, Grand Theft Auto V, Bloodborne, Drive Club, Knack, Persona 5, Near Automata. Tons of games. Tons of games, uh, a lot of which have been covered or at least talked about somewhat on this show because, of course, the PlayStation 4, its whole entire console span, uh, or at least a big chunk of its console span uh, throughout our podcast. So, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Didn't you guys end up buying the PS4 for 15 for UFF? Yes. For the demo, okay. yeah. Yep. So definitely uh, something that's been talked about. The games from the PS4 have been talked about at length. Most of the games we play on the show, we've played, even if it's like a multi-console version, we've played the PS4 version of it. Um, yeah, it's clearly the PS4. I think uh, yeah. there's nothing on the Neo Geo besides its its fighting game series that's even recognizable anymore. Not saying anything against the Neo Geo, and for you Neo Geo fans out there that are fuck you, there's a lot of them. You'd be surprised. Really getting mad. Yeah, at unfortunately, us, I think like as a console, the PS4 is really, really good, and the and the Neo Geo, like for the time it was released, was like prohibitively expensive because you were getting arcade quality cartridges at home. So it cost a fuckload. I don't even know what it cost in like 1990, but it 
factoring in for inflation, that thing probably costs like a thousand bucks. Uh, without factoring for inflation, it's six hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, fuck. In 1990 money, yeah. Holy shit. Whoa. Equivalent to one thousand two hundred thirty-five dollars in 2020. Jesus Christ! I lowballed it. Wow! Most expensive video con- game console ever released. Okay. All right, Neo Geo. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I Thankfully, gave, you I get a lot of those games very cheaply now <laughs> on modern consoles. But as a console itself, it's just not a great yeah. console. <laughs> that was the thing that all the rich kids had that you were talking about a few weeks ago during the Engage episode. Yeah, a few weeks ago. I remember that yeah. conversation quite a few weeks it's ago. Distant, but yeah. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Uh, next up, we got the. This one's gonna suck, actually. The PlayStation Vita versus the PlayStation Two. Oh, clear, clear winner here. I mean, there is a clear winner. It just that sucks because I, I do Vita have a soft spot deserve, for the Vita, the Vita and I wish it would win. go farther. Like, what the fuck's on the Vita besides what's in the PS3 store? Besides a bunch of re-downloadable PS2 games and PS3 games. Yeah. Nah, P- Vita's got, like, a few cool, like, exclusives and, like, a- it's got a lot of good JRPGs and stuff. <laughs> Plus, it has the ability to download the PS1 classics and some of the PSP games, so... What, it's what? versatile, but... Everything the, v- everything the Vita did that I like, the Switch does better anyway, so... Everything yeah, you I can would, do, I can I, do better. I would go with the PS2 as well. The 24 yeah, best is Vita just... exclusives. You ready for this, guys? Tearaway, Persona 4 Dynasty Golden, except Warriors, that's on PC now. Dynasty Warriors next, Shin, Shinobito 2, uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss, um, Freedom Wars, all these classic titles you we've all heard <laughs> so many times. May Q, Labyrinth of Death. Oh, yeah, man. Silent Hill. Gravity Rush is good. Silent Hill Book of Memories. Uh, Soul that Sacrifice. That is not a good game. Which is actually Soul Sacrifice sounds like one I've actually heard of somewhere. Tales. It, it was like it's like a Monster Hunter style game. I think it's made by KG and Afune, who's the guy who did like Mega Man and stuff. Tales of Hearts R. What's the R stand for? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's what that says. It's RPG. I'm assuming it's in the Tales series. Yeah, but it's R rated. Yeah. Valhalla Knights, uh, Asphalt Injection. I'm sorry, but look, the Vita is just a smaller PS3. Um, yeah, and uh, as much as I love the PS3, there's already a PS3. Like, what did the yeah. Vita give to us besides just like give us a smaller screen on which to play uh, these? I games wasn't on? trying to make a case for the Vita here. I like the Vita. I just wanted it to go a little farther, but there's no way it's beating the PS2, even in my book. No, no, no. The bit, yeah, the, is the PS2 still the biggest console of all time? Yeah, it is. Best selling, you mean? I think, yeah. in terms of uh, units sold. Yeah, the DS. It, it's got to be. So. Yeah, it's either that or the Wii, probably, huh? Yeah. Yeah. PlayStation 2 takes that easy. Uh, next, we have the Super Nintendo versus the PlayStation 5. Oh, considering I can't get a PlayStation 5. Hey, Super do you want one? Do you have the money for one? Uh, um, that's a tough question, because I technically do have the money for it, but I'm also trying to be better with savings, and I am going on a trip. Hey, man, inflation equals spend your money. Don't save it. <laughs> Here, here's, it's worth here's, less. here's my argument. Um, technically the, true. The Super Nintendo has <laughs> video games right. on it. The PlayStation 5 doesn't. So I think the Super Nintendo should win. Uh, I fucking love my PS5, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is a beautiful machine that has yet to have enough games on it to really give it a fair shake in this thing. The Super NES, though, it's got it's got the it's got is... fucking everything. That's what I'm saying, dude. The Super Nintendo, fucking Super Mario World, Zelda series, it's Final got Duck, Fantasy Duck series. Hunt? No, that's, Super that's NES. The NES. That's oh, the that's NES. NES. Sorry. <laughs> it I might have a Duck Hunt. I have no idea, right. but Super, um, Super Nintendo has Yoshi Safari for the Super Scope. Like so many fucking classic games, they just took what the NES had and they like they made it super, bro. Okay. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. And the, when they made it super, they just made a bunch of fucking classics. Like fucking all the big games on the Super Nintendo are are just fucking ah, man. Super Nintendo, I'm going to look this up. SNES. We got Chrono Trigger, we got Best Final sellers. Fantasy 6, we've got um Secret of Evermore. We played that on there. That was a fun time. Super Mario World, Super Mario All Stars, Donkey Kong Country, motherfucker. I mean, yeah. come on, Donkey, Donkey. Super Mario Kart, which may be one of the worst Mario Karts, but 
Street Fighter 2, uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Star Fox, Star Super Fox, Metroid. Final Fantasy 6, Killer, in- Star Fox Killer Instinct, awesome. Dragon Quest 4, um, Final Fantasy What 5, the fuck is that? Mario Paint, I've never heard of, but apparently it's Team a Mario really good Paint. seller. Uh, paint, Paint oh. with a P. <laughs> Uh, so Super like Mario RPG, <laughs> Secret of Mana, Disney's Aladdin. I mean, who could forget that uh, <laughs> as a game? Uh, Romancing Saga, Kirby, the Kirby games. I mean, come on, guys. Mortal Kombat 3? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Trials of Mana, Secret of Mana. Mega Man. Um, guys. Mega Man X. This is no... There is no contest here. As a system, yes, the PS5 is way more advanced a uh, beautiful piece of machinery, but as of this time when we're doing this bracket, we're not yeah. 10 years down the line after I'd the see, PS5. I was, was, was going to say, I think yeah, I agree with you. With It hasn't stepped into its own yet. It's no. still, it's not in its golden age yet. It's still an infant. And here's the problem with the PS4. Honestly, PS3 P, into PS4, into PS5. The console generation, yeah, it lasts like 7 to 10 years still, but because the games take so much longer to make, it's not like you're getting three God of War games on the same system. You're getting one. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so, like, the major AAA titles, there were just more of them on the Super NES because games took less time to make and less people to make them. So there's also that. You've got a lot of classics on that Super NES. You're going to get a lot of classics on the PS2. And as beautiful as the machines are, the PS4, and then, of course, the PS5, and just the the Xbox equivalents, obviously. Um, They are, yeah, there's just, like, no question in terms of, like, the game library can't be fucked with. The system is way better. Uh, the memory card and uh, or the the memory internal memory on the on the PlayStation Five with its ability to get stuff online and basically have like tons of classic games. Really good, but I don't I don't I don't think it can be fucked with. I vote for the Super NES. Yeah, I vote for the Super NES as well. I I do as well. Yeah, uh, PS Five just doesn't hasn't had enough time yet. Uh, I'm I'm sure it'll probably be great by the end. You know, maybe it's going to be like Windows. PS3 maybe. was by the by the end. PS3 launched with like no games, and it got really good by the end of its life yeah. cycle. So, I mean, PS4 launched with no games too. They all kind of launched with no games. That's what everybody kind of forgets. Like, yeah, but the just... PS4 like the yeah. PS4 was already looking way better than the Xbox One just by virtue of all the shit that they said when the Xbox One was coming out. Like, oh, it's always got to be connected to the internet and uh, all this other like anti-consumer shit. So the PS4 would just basically had a slam dunk set up for them. Yeah, that's so true. that's why no one remembers. Uh, maybe it's like Windows. Every every other number just is ass, you know. So maybe the five will be ass. <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't heard anything about eleven yet. I know you can. Download I haven't it. either. I haven't, haven't, haven't done it yet. You can only trust the even uh, numbers. You you ready for another easy one? The yeah. PlayStation Three versus the Game Gear. I've never played the Game Gear. <laughs> Could you? Do you have a Game Gear Wikipedia open up by any chance? Uh, let me do that real quick. The Game Gear was S- uh, Sega's handheld system that was essentially a. Uh, it, it was essentially like a portable master system. It was an eight bit. Um, it was an eight bit handheld console that had a lot of ports from their master system games. Full uh, color, but it also backlit took, like, screen with a landscape. It had format. a backlit color oh, screen, wow. which is what set it apart from the Game Boy. However, it took fucking like six AA batteries, and they ran out in about four hours. It so. did sell way more than the N gauge. It's so- <laughs> <laughs> that's not hard. Ten point six two uh, million units. I hope the N gauge is on this bracket. <laughs> uh, the Game Gear it. also had a TV tuner add-on, so you could watch TV on the damn thing. Oh so. shit, that's kind of cool. It, yeah, like it's cool in a dumb like early '90s sort of way, uh, but let me tell you, I've played quite a few Game Gear games in my childhood, and they're not great. <laughs> so that that version of Sonic the Hedgehog two is fucking terrible. I, um, I feel like for me too, the PlayStation three would win because that was like my prime like high school like system. Like after my Xbox 360 died and I stopped gaming for like a year. After and your half. seventh Xbox 360 died. Well, I, yeah. PlayStation 3 just really started to come into its own by the end of its life cycle. By the time by the time like PlayStation Plus came out in like 2011 and 2012, if you had a PS3, you had a really good console on your hands. Yeah. Um, Whereas I don't think the Game Gear was ever good. So <laughs> PS3 might be one of the worst PlayStations, but it's still pretty good. Um, yeah. I've never really messed with the Game Gear. I it's incredibly really solid, it. all things considered. Yeah, and I, I, you know, when the PS4 was out, it took Joe and I both a while to buy a PS4. Like, I was still content with my PS3. I had plenty of games oh, that dude. I had to yeah, finish. Like, I got a PS4, like, 
during tax season. Like the first year it was out. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> But yeah, it's, it's fun. It's nice. I uh, mean, I yeah, the PS3 had a lot of great stuff. A lot of the some of the greatest Call of Duty games ever. Dude, World of War is fantastic. I had a lot of fun with that one. World of War, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare yeah, Two, Black and Ops. Like that was those were the those were the days, man. Now Black Ops Two was a pretty first fun online as well. Yeah, now it's just bullshit. <clears throat> to be fair to the Game Gear, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, the GG Shinobi. Space Harrier and Land of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. Uh, those are the ones written on the Wikipedia page as example games. Uh, so not good games. Not uh, great. Uh, nothing that's uh, stood the test of time. I, I would say, uh, as far as popularity, at least. I mean, I feel like Sonic and Mickey Mouse have stood the test of time. But it did have a headphone jack? That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, well, some of the Game Boy. Yeah, some of the Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, clear winner there. Yeah. So uh, PS3 moves on. Uh, ooh, this one's gonna. This one's. This one might be tough. Well, I don't think it's gonna be tough, but it's Dreamcast versus the PlayStation. These are two like pretty heavy hitters, all things considered. Uh you know, I'm real biased on this one. Yeah, really biased. Um, we should probably look up some. I'm gonna look up some stats on the on the Dreamcast. Anybody have a lot of experience with the Dreamcast? <sighs> no, but PlayStation Not a that ton. was that was my first console. Yeah. So like mine too. <laughs> uh Dreamcast uh came out in 90, 90, 98, and then nineteen ninety nine in North America. Same day as Final Fantasy VIII in North America. Sixth generation console preceding the PS two and GameCube and Xbox. Uh, it's also Sega's last console in the console market. Yep. And uh, it was uh, one hundred ninety nine dollars when it came out. I don't know how many like units it sold. It looks like oh nine point one three million Dreamcast units were sold. So not it did not meet expectations. So this is the one that killed Sega, right? It's Sega. As a console manufacturer, yeah. yeah, they still make games, but which is crazy to me that they could be <clears throat> like they could have done so well and then like just like they this fumbled one. it. This one well, I think they fumbled it with the Saturn, which came out like after the Genesis and was just sort of like it just oh, sort of so this surprise was just... release during E3. See, when you think and... about the cons, the the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube, you think those are the consoles of you the generation, of this, but you yeah. don't think of the Dreamcast. Like I kind of think yeah, of... the PS2 just fucking ate the Dreamcast lunch by having <laughs> like a DVD player. I kind of think the Dreamcast. I almost place it with the same gen as PS1, like in my mind. Yeah, for some yeah. I mean, it came right before those other ones, so it was the earliest one. It looks like. It's definitely the most primitive of those. Wow. Um, wow. I don't know what the... Yeah, I'm going to have to look and see what the big games were on this one. I, I, I remember there was that one that was like a... It was like a fucking fish tank with the babies in it. You remember that? Oh, Seaman. Seaman, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't sound like any at all. Yeah, Dreamcast had stuff like Seaman, like Sonic Adventure 1 <laughs> and 2, <laughs> Jet Set Radio, <laughs> Shenmue... <laughs> Apparently, it was uh, a really powerful system at the time. Yeah, well, I mean, it, when when the only things out were the PlayStation and the N64, and you saw games like Sonic Adventure in like 128 bit, and you were just like, "Holy fuck, dude!" 16 megabits of RAM. Remove it also the had the storage. ability to go online, which yeah. was interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, that's that's the one that has the Ethernet port in the back. Okay, yeah, I've yeah. seen this thing yeah. before. And the uh, VMU, which is the memory card that also kind of looks like a pocket station. Yes. What was this against again? Sorry. Uh, the uh, the original PlayStation. Ha! <laughs> I'm going to give it to the PS1, bro. Uh, I like the Dreamcast. I think the Dreamcast is cool, but I think the PS1 was just a giant fucking I mean, juggernaut. Right, the like... PS1's library is pretty great. PS1 library, amazing. Really ahead of its time with like the discs and everything like that. Um, a controller so good they barely had to change it for two generations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was ahead of the N sixty four in just so many ways, like two years out. So, yeah, I can't like obviously the N sixty four is a better I think graphical system, but technically yes, but like you're also dealing with cartridges instead of optical media. Yeah, so that's so it had its limitations with that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, there's there's no question. There's too many PS one yeah. Play, games. PlayStation one's just too. Yeah fucking like iconic yeah the yeah. dreamcast is a cool cult classic but i don't think it wins this yeah i mean i had uh i remember when i had my ps2 the most the thing i used 
the PS2 for the most was my PS1 library, honestly, for a long time. Like, I, yeah. I would love, I coveted my PS1 memory card. It was, like, precious to me. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I, it was all about the PS1, like, RPGs and even just, like, shooters, like the Siphon Filter games. Well, I was playing, like, was um, fucking Spyro and shit. Yeah, Spyro, I played the one. fuck yeah, out dude, of that. Yeah, 100%, dude. Yeah, the game's amazing. Um, there was a lot of cool stuff on the PlayStation 1. They did a lot of really... Really awesome things. Something for everyone, really. You had puzzle games, you had music games, you had you RPGs, had Land Before you Time, had shooters, great yeah. RPG. I almost bought that the other day, dude. I played the shit out of that as a kid, man. Yeah, played the shit out of that. As, as a kid, man, but as a man kid, as, as a man, man kid, kid, I won't touch I it with a ten foot pole. I haven't gone back. <laughs> I did buy a game called Sorcerer's Maze. Uh, it's it's awful, bro. We're we're forgetting the greatest, the, the Harry Potter one game. On uh, PS1. It's pretty sweet. That game <laughs> does not even compare to the PC port. I'm sorry. Look, I... We're also forgetting that the PS1 is home to the greatest game of all time, Hooters Road Trip. Exactly. <laughs> and then... Uh, Which will never be played. <laughs> it will apparently not. I mean, I tried to play it on, on my, this podcast. On my PS3, and it wouldn't work. Oh, wow. It was weird. Oh, no. But I did... There is a there is a second copy at a used game store nearby. Which one? And something tells me it's not wow. going anywhere. It's uh, the one in the American Unless Fork. someone else sees it. Oh, is it that one that's like... I'm you guys, wait, hold the fuck up. How was? the fuck would yeah. no one buy I wanted to go in there, but I haven't bought it I would Hold the fuck up. You guys have towns called American Fork and Spanish Fork? Yeah, yeah dude. Yes, sir. And guess what? All the Americans live in Spanish Fork. <laughs> it's kind of like swept. What's next? <laughs> German Spoon? Anyway. Yeah, no. we actually do have that. <laughs> Irish Spatula. Polish Knife is pretty crazy. I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> there's psychos out there. That's where the prison is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not to okay, get so, uh, so not to get up in the that, weeds right? about it, but uh, you know, it's like you're coming out of the mountain and you're it opens up and you have you can go one way or the other. It's a fork in the road. That's oh, is that why they named it that? I never thought about that. <laughs> 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 I was just like, all right, whatever. I, I've accepted so much here that yeah, I, you were just like, it's fine. Tuila, T O E L E, like Tuli, yeah, and then or hurricane being pronounced hurricane, hurricane. Yeah, and then There's the town next to it, Laverkin. Yeah, yeah, another one like Merk, 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 Merk. Fucking. So PlayStation, PlayStation is, uh, wins that, right? Yeah. yeah. Santa Quinn, Santa Quinn. I like how Saint George is uh, spelled out. Saint, it's just Saint George. Like they just do like Saint. Like, yeah. They like spell it out. I'm like, mm, we're sure. not Catholic. Um, is anybody voting for the Sega system? No, which kind of hurts because I did play it, but PS One is definitely my. Yeah, that's that's a. That's a fucking. That's a, not a winnable battle. If it was against one of these other bullshit ones, probably would have given it to it. Yeah, probably. Because I wanted one. Because I saw the, like you could. It was like the memory card thing that was like the pocket station. You could like play yeah. little mini games on there. From what I saw, hmm. and I was like, that's yeah, fucking can. sweet. Like I was like, oh my god, that's it's awesome. Like pre Wii U. You could raise your chow on that in Sonic Adventure. <laughs> yeah, and then like I never got one because there was never. I like never saw one in the wild. I think Cody might have had one. And that's it. Wow! And it broke, so like he didn't have. I've seen one at the. I've long. seen one of those systems at the game store, and I've I've seen like, oh, it had an Ethernet port on the back. Interesting. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was older than it actually it was. It seems like it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably because it died so fast. Yeah. And the game section for the Sega. Um, in every game on every used game store is really tiny. Yeah, it's like ten games. Yeah. <laughs> it's no sad. one wants to get rid of their games, I guess, for those who kept them. Yeah, they're super. I, I wouldn't. Some of those are really expensive. What about C Man? That game looks pretty sweet. You love C Man? does seem pretty sweet. Yeah. Hold on. What is C Man going for? Not as much as my right wife now. loves it, though. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Can't look her Don't in worry, the eye You now. just made the Do same that. joke that every fucking. Uh, video game? That's all right. That every games journalist made when this game came out. Uh, C Man's like 100 bucks on eBay. Oh. Generally, uh. with the microphone. You're going to have to sell your real C-Man to get the C-Man. Yeah, because you have to, like, talk to it, right? You have to, like, lower the yeah. heads or some shit. I can't remember. It was yeah, you literally talk to it with a microphone that plugs into the controller. You're talking about your wife still. Like, yeah, you have to talk to it. You have to talk to it <laughs> every <laughs> once in a while. Uh, so yeah, you still have to. You have to listen to its day. <laughs> so here, here's here's another easy one. Uh, Does she still listen to the show? No, not really. Oh, okay. Not really. The one I was when she listened that to. That was back when she loved you. Back I before she had to take way too so. silent after yeah. I said that. Yeah. Before she had to <laughs> 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 it is before she had to take care of seventeen of Schweiss's spawn. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. So are you gonna are you gonna name your next kid Xbox or Sega Saturn? 
Is that the fight? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's definitely Xbox, dude. Halo alone beats the entire library of the Sega Saturn. What's uh what's on the Sega Saturn? You fuck. Uh Sonic R, I think. What's with the R's today? Well, what the fuck? Stands for <laughs> Tales of Hearts R. <laughs> Sonic Sega Sonic R is a Sonic racing game. So, Sega Saturn had stuff like uh, Panzer Dragoon. Uh, I think it had House of the Dead. Sonic R Bug. There's a game called Bug with an exclamation point. Uh, it had ports of stuff like Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Ooh, nice. And some of the Street Fighter games, but yeah. But it didn't have Halo 1 or Halo 2, right? <laughs> no, it did not. Uh, it also didn't have Fable either. Also, that internal memory on the Xbox where you could like save your CDs to yeah. it and, yeah, and, and play you your music be, during racing games. And you games. could be angsty. Yeah, it was great. Dude, and, like, and the fact that like, I remember, because the Xbox, I was pretty young, and I wasn't allowed to have video game consoles. We had like a NES for a little while, then my mom got rid of it when I was like six or something. So from the time I was like six years old to like 11 years old, there was no console in the house. But I had a friend named Justin, and at Justin's house, we would play uh, Halo 1. And I just thought that that's what consoles were. But when I found out that like Dylan had like a GameCube, and then I got a PlayStation 1 at some point, I saved up my money. Like It really annoyed me that memory cards were a thing. I was like, <laughs> what is this? What is yeah. this stupid contraption I have to buy with the console? <laughs> So that was something that like really annoyed me about other. He's consoles. looking at the controller like, "What is this stupid shit I gotta buy with the console?" Uh, it really, and it really did annoy me like pretty hardcore didn't, when I was a teenager. Didn't the young, Xbox young controllers teenager. have a port too, though? For they did. They did. So you, you could, could do more memory yeah, on the Xbox if you wanted. So like that console as a machine, the Xbox is really ahead of its time. Unlike the 360 when it came out, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really cheapened up for the 360 generation in every way. Yeah, yeah, the uh, fucking disc drive. Yeah, that original Xbox, dude. I still have one, and it is a solid. It's a solid machine. It's just really, really great. So yeah, dude. Uh, Xbox Live and Halo One. And yeah, two. Xbox. The invention of Xbox Live. Uh, Call of Duty Finest Hour. Call of Duty Big Red One. There Show you like go. There, man. Medal of Honor. That's good shit. There you go. There's Dead no... or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Okay. I mean, come on. The guys. Saturn is the Saturn the one that like was the killer of the Sega then. If the... no Dreamcast yeah. was, but they fumbled with the Saturn because it kind of got released so they early, had, like they had two... or just kind of by surprise, and it didn't really have a lot of like. So they it didn't really have two bummers. In I think row. it was like more di difficult to develop for than the PlayStation or something. Yeah. Like, the way that it rendered its graphics, it really couldn't do 3D graphics as well as the PlayStation 1 could. I'm going to tell so. you, dude, I have dropped my Xbox onto a hard floor from, like, four feet up on accident. It gave me a red ring for a second. Now, this is the original Xbox. We're not talking about 360 or anything like that. Yeah. It gave it me a red ring for a second, and then it just continued to work. <laughs> that, that motherfucker. So that's That 90-pound... <laughs> Fucking original Xbox. Listen, mine still, Bam. Mine still works. Oh. I've had it forever. Must, yeah. yeah, if that was a 360, it would have exploded like a fucking grenade yeah. went off. Yeah, exactly. Like a frag it would have exploded grenade. If, you, like, if you looked at it the wrong way. You know, if you shake those things, they blow up, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can send it so back Xbox, into Xbox. It's definitely the Xbox, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Right. That's a great system. Uh, not this the biggest one might library be easy. I'm not sure. It's, it's Xbox One versus Nintendo 64. Mm. Yeah, those are both kind of bummer systems for me. I love the N sixty four. Here, my thing though is I did I got an Xbox One. Um, like wait, one a or years. OG? One, the Xbox One. Yeah, the one. O N E. Yeah, O N E. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay. I got that about a year and a half after my PS four because I was like, I have money, I want to try it. And honestly, like, I spent way more time on my PlayStation. Yeah. Um, whereas the N64 dominated my childhood by going to like friends' houses and stuff. Yeah. N64 Turok. dominated my childhood. Fucking too. Turok, bro. Not Turok 2, which was, it was, a, it was fine, but Turok 1 has a special place in my heart. Turok yeah. 1, po Star Wars Pod Racers, played a shit of that. Yeah. Double I have 07, that still. I do too. My N64 doesn't work anymore, but I have all the games. Pokemon Stadium, Golden Pokemon Eye. Stadium was sweet. You Dude. could like connect to the, the Game Boy. To the game? Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Nintendo was all about that weird shit. Shit ton hours in GoldenEye. Uh, Perfect Zero was fucking fun. 
You mean Perfect Dark? Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark, yeah. Perfect yeah. Dark Zero, right? I think, no. Perfect, Perfect Dark, Dark Zero is the 361. Okay, yeah. Perfect but Dark. Yeah. I played Perfect Dark on the That one's awesome, too. It's fucking sweet. Honestly, I kind of think that game's better than GoldenEye. But All right. Yeah. So, um, the Xbox One's uh, list of highest selling games. This is the Xbox Pokemon One, Snap, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Pokemon Puzzle League. Xbox One against the N64? That's yes. correct? Okay. Yeah. Xbox One's biggest games. Uh, I believe three of these you can get on the. This is the problem with this generation, including the original Xbox with the PS2, because a lot of them, a lot of their game libraries are overlapped because yeah. Yeah. maybe they couldn't put something out on the GameCube, although sometimes they did. Um, some some games would be on all three systems, but a lot of games would be on just on the Xbox and the PS2, and so like that's something that going forward they kept on doing so like grand theft auto 5 is the biggest selling xbox that one count. game that's yeah and that's where it's like doesn't that's count. crazy player unknowns battle player unknown battlegrounds i don't even know what that is yeah, PUBG. that was like the that was the pre fort oh, oh PUBG. Yeah. okay 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 uh but i believe you can play that on other systems right yeah yeah, yeah. It, uh, it launched as an xbox exclusive for consoles call of duty uh black ops 3 and oh. then now the biggest one is actually halo 5 guardians uh, of the of that's the, crazy. Like, the flagship for their for their system wasn't even top five. Minecraft Xbox One Edition, Red Dead, uh, Call of Duty Advanced War, Battlefield One. I'm trying to find even another one that's just an exclusive. They must have typoed the Conan Exiles. Up so there. also, oh, one of my things too with the Xbox One. Supposed to be. There was supposed to be this game that came out. I think it was it was called just like Dragon Ride or something. But it was like oh, a JRPG. No, uh, Scalebound. Yeah, Scalebound. Scalebound. It, it looks sick. Platinum. And then they canceled it, and I was like, I don't want my Xbox One anymore. Yeah, yeah, dude. The, Craig was Craig said the same thing. There's just like that's the whole reason I got it. Dude. There's like, like no Gears. exclusives on this fucking console. Gears Five. So, I think that might be on PC too. We don't though. play Gears Five. Gears of War. I will give the Xbox. Gears of War ended with Gears of War Three. Yeah. It's Gears of War <laughs> and, the Xbox and Halo. Some credit in that it is backwards compatible with a fuckload of 360 and original Xbox titles, which is huge. <laughs> it's huge, but it ha- it needs to stand on its own library though. It can't. It can't okay, that's fair. Sharing. That's fair. Like that's the problem. Now that is something that the N64 did not have. Yeah, which would have no, been no. Nice. But the N64 <laughs> had exclusives. Uh, Super yes, Mario 64, yeah. Mario Kart 64, Goldeneye, yeah. Ocarina of Time, Super Smash Brothers, well, yeah, Pokemon Mask. Stadium, the Fox, world is Donkey not Kong 64, <laughs> Diddy Kong Racing, PS1. Star Fox 64, Banjo Kazooie. Oh, I'm oh, I want to play Star Fox 64. Okay, all right, oh, and it was also technically oh, awesome, the too. better system in its generation too. Because it was graphically. Uh, graphically, it was better. However, the controller, if we're going controller against controller, that oh, N64 <laughs> controller is possibly the worst controller. Yeah, but if you just hold it like I a don't know, all time. I don't know what kind of cleft hand freak like, they, <laughs> <laughs> they designed that thing. <laughs> Didn't you know Japanese people have three hands? <laughs> It's just it's just weird. Yeah. It's, it suggests playing that like yellow or the big middle like toggle stick in the middle with your dick and you can <laughs> <Yeah>. you, <laughs> everything else you use your hands for. Like they made it work with the games, but it's still so weird. Like God. sorry, go only have two hands, motherfucker. Going back talking about semen, Brulo says uh sometimes the semen is on a period and gets prego. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh I, sometimes. <laughs> That's really the only so like the backwards compatibility. It's internet play. Um, there's a bunch of things it has over the N64, but as the game library is just like yeah. Because really, we're a games podcast, and at the end of the day, yeah, we're not a dude. About my fucking games. my my father-in-law bought an Xbox One for my wife so they could play games together because he has an Xbox One. I don't think she's turned it on once. I wish I had a dad. Yeah, my yeah. <laughs> But my uh, my father in law wants me to buy an Xbox One to play, but I don't. I they, like I've never wanted to buy an Xbox One. I wanted to buy an Xbox 360. It's like most of these can get on PS4. Yeah, I wanted to buy yeah. an N64 because I have an X64. I don't know if it still works because my kid pulls it down off the fucking shelf all the time, but <laughs> it probably doesn't. But I did buy Mine one. Doesn't it sucks? I did buy one, so I wanted it, but I've never wanted an Xbox One. Like, not really ever. I also hate the name that it's called the Xbox One because yeah. now what the fuck do you I refer know, to the original so Xbox to? And sixty four is higher than one by a wide margin. Yeah, <laughs> by quite yeah. a bit. How many how many more consoles do we have in this first bracket? Uh we're almost done with the first half of the first bracket. <laughs> But the next round is going to be real easy. So wait, what 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 wins here? N sixty four. N sixty four. I vote N sixty four. N sixty four. Yeah. Uh, this one's going to be real easy. It's the Game Boy versus the N-Gage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the end gauge was the nail in, in, in Nintendo's coffin. They just don't know it yet. Nokia's coffin as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the end gauge on this one. The library is pretty good. So <laughs> I've played every single end gauge game. <laughs> yeah, okay. I love Sonic N. Beat them all. Um, yeah, Game Boy. Uh, game Boy. Yeah, yeah dude, come on. We just talked about the the, the the episode on the end gauge was only half end gauge, and then the rest of it was everything else. <laughs> There's nothing there. There's nothing there. And I wanted one, too. I thought it looked fucking sick when they were playing Call of Duty on that shit. But no, come on. Uh, we're, we're only halfway through the first bracket. Do you want to keep going or what? Mm-hmm. No, I got to go. Well, then you can go. It's But we're only 40 minutes into the episode. We got to give them an hour, bro. No, we don't. <laughs> yes, we do, bro. We could text you the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like have a four text you the the ones that we can. Get if it's vote. not unanimous, yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry. A four is. What's the next uh, run? Or uh, it's the Wii U versus the 3DS. Wii U. Yeah, 3DS. 3DS. Okay. Uh, Zach votes 3DS. Uh, the Wii uh, U versus the three. Okay, so the Wii U had a pretty Wii great uh, Mario Kart game. I don't like that. That also got released on Switch anyway. So the 3DS, that was the first console I got back when I got back from my mission. Like, I made sure I went and got one, and I got Pokemon, like, Soul Silver. And, like, I don't know like, a remake, but it was fucking sweet. I've played a few games of uh, Final Fantasy Ilk on there. It has a few classic games that were re-released on there. You know, there's, like, an Orca Arena of Time 3D and Good stuff man. like that. Uh, I... Uh, I don't love either of these systems, but I would say that yeah, I think uh, I think the 3DS beats it out pretty good. You don't love either of them? I really like my 3DS. I think it's pretty. I, good. I like 2DS. my 3DS, <laughs> but this is definitely like one of Nintendo's lower points. I think like the crazy. 3DS and the Wii U combined. Like, I think 3DS XL is a beautiful system. They got stolen. I I mean, I'm voting for 3DS. I think the 3DS. I, I love my 3DS XL. I have it right here. It's fucking mm-hmm. awesome. I bought the also fucking, backwards compatible with all the DS games, which is great. I bought the 3DS regular, and I regret it so much. <laughs> it's so small, dude. Yeah, I, I, I had almost one want for your, a while. I almost want Joe's stupid ass McDonald's toy 2DS over this. Although I think they're about the same size, but like, it's just like my hands hurt when I'm playing it. Like it's so tiny, dude. These are the biggest games yeah. on the 3DS. Uh, Mario Kart Seven. Pokemon X and Y, Pokemon Sun and Moon, Omega and Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, s- new Super Mario Bros. 2, Animal Crossing, New Leaf, uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Yeah, a bunch of big games. Yeah. Um, Ocarina of Time 3D is actually one of the higher seller ones. Yeah, um, that's what I got when I got my 3DS. I have mostly played those uh, that uh, that Final Fantasy Explorers. Theater rhythm and theater rhythm, yeah, and they're fun. And theater rhythm, yeah, uh, and it's a solid. Sorry, it's a solid console. Yeah, it's the best timekeeping thing this side of PS5. <laughs> also, it actually tracks the time you play the game, which is you know you think it'd yeah, be that's, real I, easy. I thought we talked about that before. Like the, the the thing that tracks your game time, like the 3DS's one is immaculate. I don't know why they didn't follow it up on the Wii U or the fucking switch they don't want you to know you well, know the switch it, one only counts in increments of like five hours for some fucking yeah game. and it's like 40 ish they don't hours. want video game yeah it's like well know. you played like more than 45 hours of this game and i'm like well that could be 49 like <laughs> yeah dumbass come on just tell me you, I, I know it knows too i know it knows it's just fucking and it doesn't even show me all the games i've played it only shows you like the latest like 12 it's stupid you know what one's even worse though the fucking wii dude like the Wii, it's oh, yeah. like a calendar, and you have to like go to the day. So when I was gathering all of my uh, my time for how long to beat, I was like, you know what? Let's go get the Wii stuff. And then I pull up the Wii calendar, and the Wii calendar is off by like multiple years as to what year it thinks it is. <laughs> and I'm like, oh fuck, oh, no! And so I had to like go back to see when the fucking podcast came out, and then like cross reference <laughs> that date with like today's date and convert it into Wii date to find it. And I I, I did find them. Uh, but it took me like a yeah. while. We date is uh, is, is this shut down is for this a while. Tw- is this 2007 yeah. AD love. or 2007 we? <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> it was off, but yeah, it was bad. Oh man, that's funny. It's kind of like the it's kind of like the precursor to the 3DSs though. So I give it props, but yeah, the 3DS is like perfect. It tells you how many times you've played the game, your average time playing. So like. Like some of those, uh, some of those Final Fantasy games that weren't so good, um, they had like a whole lot of time started and a whole not lot of time played. Uh, so that kind of <laughs> gave me an indication of like, oh yeah, this game sucks. 
So yeah, your 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 hours on it is like forty, but your average play t- like forty hours, but your average play time is like thirty minutes or whatever. Yeah, dude, I think one of them was even lower than that. I think it might have been that uh mana. Although I don't know, because that's a that's you got to play. Like that's a heavy. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to play any more than that. But Was it counted well, every time? Were you shut like, off the were you screen? like quitting out of the game to like reset it because that might that might skew that? Uh, no. I d- I did the pause a lot. I would definitely like click yeah. the screen to the side and. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah, it didn't count that. the The game counted that because the game is an idiot. My game time was like. <laughs> Meanwhile, fucking the uh, the Wii hours. U, all the exclusive games the Wii U has, most of them are ported to the Switch now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now uh, people think of them as Switch games. They're fucking mm-hmm. fools. Except for like Star Fox Zero and Xenoblade Chronicles X, I want to say. They're like, uh, they, they gave him the fucking little uh, stick, the like flash stick from Men in Black. And like, these are Switch games. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, like these are Wii Switch U, games. I really do. Fucking seals. Idiots. Uh, no, I, I, I like my Wii U. I really do, but um, it it's pl- over there collecting dust. And my 3DS, I still play on a regular basis. So, yeah. I mean, the the Wii U has Bayonetta, which is actually a legit version of Bayonetta. It plays, unlike the PlayStation Three version, which is really fucking bad frame rate wise. Oh, so that yeah. that Mario Kart, Mario Kart Eight, is the biggest uh, game from the Wii U, followed by yeah. Super Mario 3D World, uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. Oh my uh, god! Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo Land, Splatoon. So the first three of those are on the Switch. Yeah, uh, Super Mario so or Super Smash Brothers. Well, I remember Wind and Waker. Nintendo HD Land is actually out. an exclusive. Is Wind Waker? It was a pack and title. Is Wind Waker coming up? In the uh, Wind, that... Wind Waker was a remake of a GameCube game. It was like a re. It was no, like a no, port, no, yeah, HD port. that's what. I'm, is it on the Switch now? Sadly, no. It should wow. be. Wow. So that one's like that one's actually like a hanger outer. That's, that's actually the Wii U that I got. I got the I got the Wii U that came with the Wind Waker. So I have like a Zelda Wii U. It's pretty sick. Wind Waker is the Zelda I've spent the most time in. I remember it. <laughs> From the I never beat it. GameCube. But I played a lot of hours of it. Yeah. And the Wii the Wii U version is pretty good. There's like a sale you can get in the Wii U version that like automatically redirects the wind, so you don't have to stop every 15 seconds and get the thing out and change the wind direction. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, clear winner here. Sorry. Yeah, it's 3DS. Sorry, Wii U. Damn it, Zach. Wii U. You gotta stay, bro. You gotta stay. <laughs> uh, this one, Brillo's gonna be mad because the GameCube is gonna get knocked out in the first round here. It's GameCube versus the Nintendo Switch. Is it? Is it gonna be knocked out? One of those is a console. And one of those is a toy slash prop for your router. <laughs> you are. I'm. I'll one of them is a you. weapon. <laughs> one of them is a weapon. The other one you shove up your ass is a toy. I'm gonna text Zach right now. Fuck you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, God. Uh, let me look up the best selling GameCube games. Well, GameCube had Resident Evil Four, which is amazing, and it was a great version of Resident Evil Four. But the Switch also has Resident Evil Four. Yeah, uh, is but it a better version of the Resident Evil 4? It probably is a better version, but it's also like 10, 15 years later. Um, yeah, the GameCube was the, in terms of graphical capability, the best console in its generation, major console in its generation. I'm sure there's some fucking fuck-off one that we're going to come across. <laughs> uh, it uh, That generation, of course, a lot of games actually went to the GameCube as well, which we cannot say about the Switch. It's not like Grand Theft Auto V would have showed up on the Switch, but if Grand Theft Auto V was in that generation, it would have showed up on the GameCube. Or there would have been a good chance that it would have. Because there's a lot of games that were on all three consoles. Yeah. Um, so in terms was, of like... Was Grand Theft Auto on the GameCube? I don't know if Grand Theft Auto so. was. But there's a lot of... Like, there's like... I remember all three Harry Potter games, Lord of the Rings games. Like, they would there would be a version for all three of them. All three of the consoles. Well, yeah, licensed games always get put on everything. Well, no, not always. They The Switch and the Wii U and the fucking Wii are not in that category. They do not always get those fucking games. They get them way less than the GameCube got them. So, yeah, that's true. Well, that's true, because yeah. they're not really on parity with the... Because uh, with, like, the Wii is basically just a powered-up GameCube, so it wasn't really in parity with the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Yeah, and the Switch and is like And the Switch like is a... kind of its own thing because it's like a hybrid handheld. The, the Switch is like a Vita... 
with this fat. Yeah, no it's like a better Vita. Yeah, it's which definitely is why it's great. It definitely beats it on the gimmick end. It's way better in terms of its library because of backwards compatibility. The, the okay, okay. And it has solid games as the console, in its library. It's, as the console itself, though, the its gimmick being that you can play it anywhere, yeah. including on the TV, is a huge boon. Uh, but listen to me when I say Super Smash Bros. Melee, which is probably the favorite Smash Bros. game, right? Mario Kart Double Dash, yeah. which is my personal favorite Mario Kart game. Uh, Super Mario Have Sunshine, which I didn't even know people played. Uh, <laughs> Wind Waker uh, is on the GameCube. Um Luigi's Mansion, Metroid Prime uh, is a big one. Uh, Animal Crossing, Mario Party 4, um, Pokemon Coliseum, Paper Mario. Paper Mario is a great game. Um, that was in your door, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of great games on the, on the GameCube, for sure. Uh, Twilight Princess, the, the version for the GameCube, um, also on there. Um, GameCube ain't no slouch, man. GameCube ain't no slouch. I'm not, no, I'm not saying Switch. it's a slouch, but I think the Switch just blows it out of the water in terms of like not only its ability to be versatile, but also like the sheer amount of stuff that gets ported to that thing, including old games. You got Resident Evil games on GameCube. Okay. Um, Nintendo's... You got those on Switch as well. Uh, uh, ironically, Mario Kart 8 uh, is also the biggest game on the Switch. Uh, and yeah, on Deluxe. Wii U. That's crazy. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Animal Crossing, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, uh, Breath of the Wild. Um, I've, I, I, you know, I can't really, like, I guess, uh, put the two together because I've never played Breath of the Wild, but would you put Breath of the Wild above Wind Waker and Twilight Princess? Yes, I would, personally. You would. Okay. Having played all three of them. Okay. Um, I remember really liking Wind Waker, and that, that's it. <laughs> I mean, Wind Waker's great. Twilight Princess is good, but like Breath of the Wild is just a, this whole other fucking like. Yeah. It's in this whole other category. Yeah, these are all pretty big deal. And it was a launch game, like like Breath of the Breath of the Wild was a Switch launch game. Keep that in mind. S Switch, and it's huge. Switch has a lot of exclusives, unlike the other two consoles of that generation. You know, Brulo brings up Switch has every Dark Souls, Doom, Res, Bayonetta, but it doesn't have every Dark Souls because it doesn't have Elden Ring. And that's a sequel <laughs> to Dark Souls. I don't even think it has Dark Souls 2 or 3. I think it just has Dark Souls 1. It has 3. Oh, wait, no. I no, don't. I think it does have 3. What pisses me off about the Switch right now, I remember trying to look for like some old Nintendo games for some reason. Like It does have a large library. I mean, people are talking about it, but it's never the games that I want to get. Like, for some reason, I'm just on there looking for Zelda games. It doesn't have all of them. Why the fuck doesn't have all of them? They have all the rights to the Zelda shit. You ported it on all the so last three now, consoles. The, the stupid thing they're doing now with the Switch, and it, it's definitely a point against the Switch, maybe more of a point against Nintendo right now it, itself, is they have, like, the subscription service for the online, and with that, you get, like, these big libraries of NES and SNES games that you can just, like, play oh. whenever. I didn't um, know that. But they don't have virtual console. So they're trying so, to like, be you like you ever a Nintendo the Net thing, you lose access to all those games, which is really stupid. You're trying to be a Nintendo Netflix. That's what they're trying to be. Basically, yeah. That's okay. almost how they marketed it. That's interesting, actually. I think that's an interesting way. It's interesting, about. but there's a lot of games on there that are like, no one's ever heard of these. Okay. And the fact that you have to subscribe, you have to keep subscribing to get them granted it's only 20 bucks a month or 20 bucks a year oh it's like, um the unless you get like the 20 one bucks a month is actually games, then it's 50 <laughs> no no it's 20 bucks yeah, a year yeah. I, I yeah but okay. even still um, um yeah i mean i'm i'm just fucking around I, I i don't play the switch nearly as much as i played my gamecube but uh um it's, all, it's you know it's the podcast and my busy life and i don't think i would be playing video games at all if it weren't for these podcasts so uh, I would go. I guess. I guess I'll. I will give it to the Switch. Although in my heart, the Switch is not there. The GameCube is. I would give it to. I mean, I love the GameCube, and it's got a lot of cool games on it. But I think just in terms of it, like a, like a machine that has games on it, I think the Switch is the better one. To be quite honest, just it's got more variety. It's got more versatility in the way that you can play it. The fact that like the, each controller can essentially be one, like each half of the controller can be one controller, just yeah. gives it like multiplayer right out of the box. Technically, each half not ideal, but you can do it. Unfunctioning <laughs> multiplayer controller. <laughs> Is that a cracker? Oh no, it's a controller with a half of a Joy-Con, and I've I have won. 
<laughs> got on a Dunkin' and milk. <laughs> yeah, just it's like a fucking yeah, graham cracker. Like, hey man, we're gonna play some. Music. Oh, thank you so much. And you just dump it in. Oh fuck, fuck! I shouldn't have put that in the chip dip. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I thought that was one of those like you know, chip rod <laughs> things. Oh, Brulo also brings up a good point. Switch has a lot of porn games on it. Does it really? Not like with full nudity, but oh, I don't know. I mean, the Switch is. I've never used a GameCube to prop up a router, <laughs> but I've also never bought a GameCube. So oh, I mean, I, I have I, one. I have one. I have a Wii. I, the Wii is my GameCube. Yeah. Um, That's nice about the Wii. Is the Wii was backwards I had a GameCube. compatible with the GameCube. Wii versus Switch is going to be one hell of an argument. Yeah, that's gonna be tougher. Uh, yeah. I don't really. I like. I like what the GameCube did. I like some of the games on there, as far as like the Resident Evils. But yeah, now the Switch, the Switch did me a solid for a good year, propping that bad boy up. So yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll throw it a bone. <laughs> and it's Bayonetta is great. Like Bayonetta one and two on there, awesome. Like super legit. So you know, I have not actually played uh, a, a legitimate Switch game on my own yet. Yeah, it's all been. Oh, really? Yeah, it's all been older games. That's true. Yeah, the mana is. That's like. That's pretty much it. That's it. Yeah. I don't know in one. Uh, I don't know. Are you guys gonna even know what these next two are? It's the Sega CD versus the Turbo Graphics 16. Uh, I've heard of the Sega CD, and therefore it's the winner. <laughs> yeah, Sega CD was one of those uh, ahead of its time things. Um, I did an episode on talking a little bit about it. I think was that was that actually a console Sega CD? Are you sure? It was an add-on for the Sega Genesis, but I'm, I, I I needed to fill in one more space to make the bracket an even thirty-two, oh. so I just included it. Okay. I was gonna say I remember well, then, talking about it. Is the other one actually a console? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then that one wins. The yeah. turbo, the turbo, whatever. <laughs> turbo graphics. Let's give it to that. Yeah. Turbo graphics turbo wins because uh, it's actually. Let's see. A uh, We're not going to the fucking war of the accessories. Yeah, here. yeah. Fuck that shit. The PlayStation. Sega, Sega CD had games like Sonic. I mean, Sega CD was an add-on, but it had exclusive games like uh, Sonic CD, Lunar, The Silver Star, Lunar Eternal Blue. Did you Popful have to Mail, have another console Snatcher, in order Night for it to Trap. work? I think so. Yeah. I think they did eventually come out with a standalone Sega CD. Oh, really? Well, that's the question uh, in the air, then. Hold not, on. Not I'm the looking. I thinks. Yeah, it's, it's, if that if it is a legit console... Hold on, console, I'm looking, I'm looking. Then we can actually fight it out with all of our Turbo Graphics. Knowledge. I'm looking. Hold on. I'm trying to read through Wikipedia here. <laughs> What's with Sonic? Sonic is such a slut, dude. He's all over these things, like Sonic R. <laughs> it's their the mascot. If they have a console, they're going to put it out Sonic Triple X. The console. Yeah, but they put him on the fucking end gauge. Sonic NC-17. Yeah. Well, that was after Sega stopped making uh, consoles. The, that's true. They had so to shop them around to other... Fu- like, Sonic was on the PS2 and the GameCube after that. I know, I know. Oh, I standalone had... Sega CD. It does, not God, say it's a, it does not say it's a standalone. It says it's a CD-ROM accessory for the Sega No, Genesis. I mean, I swear there's like a version of it you can get. <sighs> I would, it would say it Maybe on the there Wikipedia, isn't. wouldn't it? That would be... I guess. All right. Well, anyway, the Turo Graphics 16 had such uh, popular games as uh, Bomberman. That's... Yeah. Bonk. Adventure Island. I've played what? Bomberman. It's a great game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Splatterhouse. There's a version of Street Fighter 2 on there. It has the Ease games on it. Ease 1 and 2. Uh and, and there was a lot of like horizontal, ho- uh, horizontal and vertical shooters on there, like R Type, Darius Alpha, Soldier Blade, uh, 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 Gradius, Salamander. Okay. So, if you want to disqualify Sega CD just by the virtue of it not being a standalone console, we can do that. It's a disqualified. All right. Damn it. Congratulations, Turbo Graphics. Turbo easy buy graphics. Oh, this next one sucks. I didn't see this earlier. It's the Game Boy Advance versus the DS. Uh, that's actually a tough one. one I of know. Those, one of the, do, do you have SP as a separate one, or is that part of the Advance package? It's, I think it's part. It's part of the Advance package. Okay. Um, I was always a dipshit and never bought the SP. And man, that advance sucks. I like, had the SP; it was great, but I got it. I think I got to go with the DS on this one. 
best selling uh, Game Boy Advance titles, Pokemon, like a bunch of games. Uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario Kart Advance, Namco Museum, uh, Yoshi's Island, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Passport. Um, Link to the Passport. <laughs> Link to the Past. Port. Oh, okay. Uh, Wario Land 4, Finding Nemo, Donkey Kong Country. Oh, yeah. Donkey Kong Country was awesome on there. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, Metroid Fusion, oh, yeah. Kingdom yeah. Hearts Chain of Memories, Are Sonic we? Advance. Dude, I, 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 this was, I got this. I got the Bionicle game on it. I got Samurai Jack game on it. Oh. I got a fucking, uh, bio, uh, I already said Bionicle. What the fuck? Else? Oh, Torok uh, Evolution for the Game Boy Advance. Wow. Jesus. Which I played a lot and really fucking wrecked me. Um, I got a lot of good memories with the Game Boy Advance, and I don't have as many with the uh, Nintendo DS. Well, you got to think DS. We had. Let me um, try to jog your memory here. Four Heroes of Light. That was a DS Go game. On. Um, we had. Uh, uh, I'm just looking at the top selling games here New Super Mario Brothers, Nintendo Dogs, Mario Kart DS, which is one of the better Mario Karts. Brain Age, Pokemon, like ver- a bunch of Pokemon games, Animal Crossing, Wild World, Super Mario 64 DS, po- uh, Mario Party DS, Dragon Quest IX, uh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. There's a lot of good shit on the DS. I think, I, man, this is almost a tie for me. I know the DS had more like Gazes and Gizmos uh, plenty and who's it's and what's it's galore. Like you could play with other people. <laughs> hey, Dr. Seuss now. Over the... That's from Sorry, the Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh. What are you, the Little Mermaid now? <laughs> what are you, gay? You didn't know what the, that it was a Little Mermaid? <laughs> Got his <Yes>. ass. <laughs> gotcha, <laughs> loser. <laughs> uh, um, this one's really tough. I almost, you know what? I we said backwards compatibility doesn't really matter because like the DS was backwards compatible with the GBA library. Mm, the Game Boy Advance, it could play Game Boy games, couldn't it? Yeah. I'm yep. not crazy, right? Okay. No, yes, like it could. Game Boy Color and Game Boy games, too. Ooh, dude. Yeah. Yes. This is a tough one. Uh, I might just give this it to This is a really tough one. I almost like the DS better, though, because of the touchscreen gimmick. Like, it's a really good gimmick. It may, there were a lot of really cool games for the DS because of that. Yeah, the touchscreen gimmick, is it, that's a good point. Good point. Uh, the, it obviously got, like, it, it did double the screens, right? It was two screens on the DS. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it, the it's the dual screen. That's what the DS yeah, stands yeah. for. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, same. Uh, so I'm just like putting it against the SP, which is a solid handheld system. I know the original Game Boy it Advance. Is, I know this. W- the original Game Boy Advance with its fucking battery powered bullshit. It's rough. That yeah, that that battery went fast. And like when we played it for uh, Crystal Chronicles, I couldn't see shit on that screen, dude. I don't know how the fuck I played that when I was a kid. So Like outside? <laughs> uh, someone's Any- asking if the DS includes the 3DS, and no. That would be separate game libraries. You can't play 3DS games on the DS, but you can play both all... It's only Game Boy Advance games for both the SP and the Game Boy Advance, so that's all one system. Revenant Wings, that's DS. No, SP could play G- Game Boy Color games as well. No, no, no. Someone's asking in the chat. If, the cartridge would just stick if out we're a little bit. Separating them or not, and like no, no. Uh, yeah. Well, DS, yes, for the DS versus the 3DS, but no because the SP versus the Advance. That's that's one console. Yeah, the 3DS is already so, moved to the round yeah. two. I I would say honestly, battery power alone <laughs> was so annoying at the time. It's not like it was like oh back in the day you didn't notice. It. It's like back in the day, yeah, you fucking no, you notice when it fucking cooked through double A batteries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like how many double A batteries I've <laughs> So, uh, I love the Game Boy Advance and the and the SP. Of course, I had the original Game Boy Advance most of yeah. the time. Um, but uh, and I loved its back. I I played the Harry Potter and the Chamber of the Secrets game constantly. I beat it many times. Um. I don't even think that's that great of a game, probably, looking back on it, but I enjoyed it immensely. So the Game Boy Advance, I think it's one of the consoles I played a lot of, um, but I got to give it to the DS. I got to give it barely to the DS, but to the DS. Uh, it's just a better, sh- like, system. And they could have, like, with the SP, obviously they improved the power stuff with the Game Boy Advance, but 
and the and the like the backlight kind of situation. There's no backlight on the original Advance, so like half the versions of the Advance like suck ass. So, <laughs> it's the big wide one. It's the one that looks. Well, like when a, I think of like, like peak, when I think of like peak handheld for me, I, I think of the DS Lite. Like the DS Lite was just a perfect little fucking thing. Mm. Um, I'm gonna go with the Game Boy Advance. I. I have never, I haven't really owned a DS. I played a bunch of DS games on 3DS, but I don't know, man. There was something about the Game Boy Advance back in the day. Like that thing was always in my fucking hoodie pocket. I had like six extra batteries. I was ready to go, and I loved it. Even though I had the regular Advance, you had six extra game. batteries in case you needed to play more Game Boy Advance or hit someone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or or put them in my sock and kill a man. Yeah, I you know I yeah, never had yeah, the yeah. I never had the SP, but. Even with just the Game Boy Advance, I had I had a lot of fun on there. Uh, the Donkey Kong Country was super fucking fun. That port, it's the same game. I mean, it's it's great. Um, yeah, the yeah. ports of the SNES games that were on. Uh, there. Let me make this easy. I'm I'm also I'm also going with the DS. Yeah. Uh, okay. did, what did Zach say though? So. Oh no. Yeah, and, 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 back and the DS can, in fact, play every single Game Boy Advance game. That's a good, good point in the chat. And yeah. it'll be backlit, and the battery will last longer. <laughs> yeah, it might be able to play every Game Boy Advance game, but we already said that that doesn't really count. It doesn't matter because that would no. But it's true. definitely a factor. It's a factor if you're putting them against each other. Yeah, that's true. They're both I guess. backwards compatible, but which one has more backwards compatibility? You know, not always the, the like the Wii wasn't like super backwards compatible. It's like it had a lot of classics eventually in its library, but it's not like it came out the Yeah, and you had yeah. to buy it all again. Yeah. So No, the the Wii can play GameCube games. Yeah, it can. But it couldn't play SNES games or anything like that. Well, yeah. Because it's a different medium. It's cartridges versus optical media. Anyway, this next one will be really fucking easy. It's the Atari twenty six hundred versus the Genesis. Uh, the Atari's game library is no fucking joke. Um, yeah, but are any of those games good? Let's look up a list. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look it up. Alexa, are there any good Atari 2600 games? Are you looking for Atari 2600 games? I mean, for the Sega CD slot, I was going to put in the fucking Intellivision, but I don't think you guys even know what the fuck that is. We cover it. Oh uh, yeah, we know we know it exists. No, thank you. I'm like I haven't even touched it in television. Defender Two, Berserk, Jungle Hunt, River Raid, Atlantis, Demon Attack. Come on, guys. Joust, Spider, <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh shit! Right. Zach said GBA. Oh, oh shit! Fuck. Do we got a tie on that one then? Yeah, we gotta go to the we gotta go to the fucking to the chat. Okay, guys. Uh, DS or Game Boy Advance? First person to uh, respond is the one whose vote counts. The tiebreaker. Do, 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 do. Does it really take that long to type in D and S? <laughs> hey, there we go. The DS wins. Okay, well, there we go. I don't have to change the bracket. You can't fuck with asteroids, dude. Or Miss Pac-Man. Yeah. yeah, but have you seen what or, it looks like on the Atari 2600? It does not look anything like it does in the or arcade. Frogger. Come on, motherfucker. I know, but it's... There, Space take Invaders. The games that you're thinking of in your head and turn them into wide rectangles, and that's what they are now. Space Invaders, Pitfall. Don't... Fu yeah, come on, man. What was, the, what was the other console? The Sega Genesis. Was that other no-name? Yeah, I'm going with Atari 2600 on this. Like, they still fucking print those games. You can't fuck with that Atari 2600. It was way ahead of everything else when it came out. There was no competition at the time. And it just killed it. There were there was competition. It was the fucking Intellivision and the ColecoVision. Yeah, they, they those are yeah, gone. We call that not competition. <laughs> they got fucking leveled. They didn't even make other consoles. I think one of them might have. I can't remember. But they the basically that was like the big culling of the game companies yeah. back yeah. then. Atari Twenty Six Hundred was Michael Jordan, and yeah, the Intellivi yeah Atari made the games television so bad, was they Carl Malone. Crashed the video game market. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> it, I don't know. It's more like no, no, I don't like that analogy. I mean, okay, all right. There was no quality <laughs> control for Atari in the in the late seventies, early eighties. They crashed the video game market, making games so bad. 
Uh, they did. They did reprint the yeah the Atari games, and they also you know they brought some Sega Genesis. I can buy. Uh, I bought Sonic on PS3. What does Sega Genesis have besides Sonic? Sonic Two, Streets of Rage, uh, World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, Aladdin. It, you, on, I'm looking, you just I'm listed looking games up. that are also on the other Sega Outrun. console. And these Atari games are on like every fucking console now. Virtual you just get Fighter. like a fucking thing of them. We're gonna have to ask Zach. I think I'm I think Joe's got a good argument. And I don't really I mean Sega Genesis was my very first console. But I only really liked like it Mortal didn't have Kombat. Castle, was Castlevania NBA Jam? Was Castlevania Street on Fighter there? 2, Altered Beast, Jurassic Park, Mighty know. Morphin, Goddamn Power Rangers. Look, man, just because Atari were like the Spanish uh, Empire at the time, okay, <laughs> fucking took over half the fucking world. Yeah. <laughs> Are you both actually no voting competition. for the 2600? <laughs> I think I am. I'm voting like, for yeah, the 2600, like... yeah. Dude, some of those guys, games are amazing. Sucks. <laughs> the games still are great. I still play Pac-Man when I go to the arcade. I don't play any of those it's fucking not the Sega si- games. The, the, the 2600 version of Pac-Man is legendarily bad. I understand. It's it's not the same thing as the arcade. It's they're they are not even close. Uh Saturn was Castlevania. Fuck, did I have a Saturn then? We already got a vote in the chat for Atari in case there's a tie. We will need. Uh, we will probably need a Zach to come in here and say it's the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm messaging him. I bet he'll say. It's gonna probably take him a few minutes to get back to us. So I'll just move to the next fucking matchup, which is the <laughs> NES versus the Xbox Three Sixty. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> Two consoles that I don't like that much. I love the NES. That's my problem. Zach votes for the Genesis, which means it's a tie, which means it goes to Brulo, who already... No, now they have to type it in. Fuck you. Okay. There's someone else that... All right, hurry up and say... type in Atari. You have to type in the full <laughs> name of the console. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Tiebreaker. Kind of... Uh, first person to respond in the chat. 2,600 wins, baby. <laughs> Atari 2,600 so wins. Stupid. It wasn't even Brulo either. Oh, my God. That's right. That's right. Take it. <laughs> Take it, A4. <laughs> yeah. I was, I honestly, not, I was going to just. I, I am not voting for the Genesis just because of Sonic. Genesis has a lot of great games on it. I was just going to give it a tap in for the for the Genesis, but you convinced me. Like The Genesis those, those was against. Timeless. <laughs> 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 the Genesis was against the PS1, right? It's the N64. The PS1. Genesis was against. What? No, the Saturn. Uh, I don't know my fucking Sega's. The, the Genesis was against the Super Nintendo. Oh, oh, it's that gen. Oh, yeah. even less known. Oh, I, I don't give a fuck about Sonic. Mario's a better game. <laughs> yeah, Sonic sorry, was. I don't even think in You're its generation. Wrong. Look, no, Atari Twenty Six Hundred in its generation brutalizes the competition, and that Sega fucking system in its generation nobody gives a shit about. It's against the Super NES. It's a great it's system. It had a, that was the, whole, the height of the console wars was the 16-bit console wars. I understand that. Between Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. I understand Sega that. Sega held its own. It didn't win, but it held its own. It didn't win in any way whatsoever. That game library on the SNES also kills it. I'm sure there's a couple classics from the fucking ColecoVision. No one cares about them because the Atari 2600, it destroyed ColecoVision it. ColecoVision didn't have Sonic, motherfucker. Now I now I am making it about Sonic. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it was the heat of the it was the heat of the console wars when uh, Atari used chemical weapons on its own people. <laughs> it's like Fucked we're up. going down in fucking flames, baby. Um, no, they so, both all sur- they both survived. Sonic though. is fucking trash. Brulo says Sonic is fucking trash. Why do you like it? A four. It's just not fun at all. Fuck you. It's amazing. <laughs> Sonic one is a uh, fucking. It's miserably hard. Yeah, versus the uh, Sonic. What? Sonic the Hedgehog is great. He goes fast. He makes me horny. What's I'm sorry. The toy? <laughs> uh, what about uh, Super Mario Bros. against it? A, a a fucking beautiful game. Super Mario World. Like, yeah. come on, Sonic even Donkey stand Kong a Country. chance. Donkey Kong Country is more similar to Sonic. Just like a move real fast across the screen kind of game. Yeah. Dog shit. That game, I love Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, you can't fuck with that. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country is like if Sonic was bad. Sorry. <laughs> Sonic is the one that I was like, oh, I loved this as a kid. And then when we played it for the show, I was like, 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, but you could pick up a Mario just fine. Dude. I was an idiot. Yeah. Mario still plays great. I mean, I still That's like... That's the difference. I still like Sonic. It's just really hard. Um, Yeah. Uh, NES versus... What? Sorry. The Xbox 360. <laughs> Xbox 360 launched great. Xbox Live was better on the 360. Oh yeah, the interface um, was awesome. Yeah, good good controllers. Definitely better than the NES. That, the 360 <laughs> controller was my favorite for the longest time. Um, the original Xbox controller for some reason just feels better in my hands, and I know they're big. But you have big hands. No, I think I have normal sized man hands. Um, you just like to put your tiny hands around a big black controller, right? <laughs> Green. You should have. In uh, my case, <laughs> you should have bleeped that out. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> you like to put your tiny hands around a big <laughs> controller. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it was supposed to be big black. <laughs> but... that's what oh. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do it again, A4. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Make it right. <laughs> oh, man. We don't do things half-assed here. <laughs> do you like to put your tiny, white, French, girly hands around a big, black... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, Gears of War and Halo... I mean, Halo 3. I mean, what oh, the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's the difficulty here is I think Halo Three is probably a better game than anything on the NES. But on the NES you have Legend of Zelda, the original Super Mario Bros. Um, you do have Duck Hunt. I mean, who can who can who, who can forget Duck Hunt? The original Final Fantasy. Oh uh, yes, I loved. <laughs> I, yeah, I heard. Uh, and uh, I like all the games, like all the big franchise games. Um, from Nintendo just started there and they kept going because um, they were all... It was also the thing that kind of brought all... video games back after the Atari crash. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And they were all big fucking games. The Xbox 360... And you know how they brought it back, Schweiss? They marketed it as a toy. Yeah. yeah. The Xbox 360, although better controller, obviously had online capabilities. Everything technologically was better. It was not the best technologically in its in its era. I don't think it was the best system in its generation either. Uh, and although it had a couple great great um, and long lasting exclusives, um, I I it's it it was a piece of shit. It broke down all the time. People had their warranties on it. Um, and it's also its original game library is not as impressive. I'm gonna go with the the original NES on this one. What do you think, A4? I think I got to go with the NES, too. Just so, it, like, it's sort of laying the foundation for... I mean, the Xbox 360 wouldn't exist without the NES. I also think like the Xbox 360 really it. in its generation is not nearly as impressive as the original Xbox, either. Like, and it's like almost a quality drop outside of like its actual like processing power and shit. Like, it, the actual yeah. like plastic of the Xbox is just like better. Like, you know... I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least at least with the like w when the NES stops working, you can just blow into it and it'll work. The Xbox 360 stops working, you got to send it away. Yeah, Caleb Craig uh, took that to heart. Yeah. <laughs> Ethernet ports. Yeah. Blowing into his Ethernet port when I shut his internet down. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm still one of the funniest fucking things I've ever witnessed <laughs> yeah. in my life. Kill, what do you blow on it? <laughs> Please tell me the whole time he's like, No, dude, come on. Oh, fuck. I think I turned it on after that. You did, dude. yeah. I, you after I you was, blew on I it, I was fucking with him so bad, dude. You blew after you blew on it, it Joe turned it back on for a minute, so yeah. he thought it worked. It yeah, was it fucking worked. awesome. Blowing it to the ethernet port worked. Wherever he is right now, he's just getting real worked up. <laughs> it's like they're talking about it again. I know they are. I, feel it. <laughs> I can sense it. Uh, Schweiss. <clears throat> Well, I've never wanted a NES, really? but I did want a Super or a, a 360. Um, but 360 is trash for its gen. Like, there's a lot of problems with it. I think I, I think I'm gonna give it to the NES. The classic wins this time. Um, 
I did. I mean, I like Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2. Those were pretty fun. Halo 3 was amazing. Xbox Live was great. The interface is super good. But the NES, the NES had a lot of great games, and it spawned a lot of great franchises, too. So it's really, like, influential and kind of iconic in its own way. Whereas the 360 was... It had some of the best games, but, you know, a lot of it was continuations of series from before. Um, Gears of War was one of the big ones that they created for the 360, um, and then the Left 4 Deads, but... Yeah, I, I would also add with the NES, it's like it was also what modern consoles are. That's really where it started. Like, it just revived video games. Yeah, because before we had all these weird random bullshit <laughs> things, you know, like the Coleco. And so even even weird. Zach said, I played the 360 way more than the NES, but I hate the 360, so NES. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, that makes that easy. Yeah. Uh, next is the Xbox Series X ver- or slash S versus the Wii. Uh, yeah, I have an S uh, Xbox Series S now. Never played it. No, I just set it up and then looked at the game library and that was it. Um, I'm excited. One of these days, I gotta go in there and get like the thing and then play some uh, some originals Xbox games. We definitely are like Xbox Lite on this show. We need, I mean, we've obviously been playing a bunch of Halos, but... We're uh, Xbox agnostic on this show. I, I, uh... It does, like, its Game Pass thing is pretty It's amazing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but if you don't have Game Pass, then it's worthless. No, you can buy regular Xbox... No, I mean, like, I mean, like, Game Pass... Game Pass is cool, but, like, if the internet doesn't work... Like as just if you just have the console, like you can't get Game Pass. Good point. Good point. I I think a lot of systems still like you, without the internet nowadays, it's kind of like there's a lot you can't do all of a sudden. But you can play. Well, of some course, games, yeah. Obviously. But it, like uh, access to an entire game you, library no, no, here's the, being you, one of them is you not. You can still buy and download those games onto this onto the system. Yeah, localized. I know, but I mean, you could also buy them physically. Yeah. If you yeah, had to. If you had the X. Um. I uh, it seems like it's a solid system. Um, what's it against again? Sorry, the Wii. The Wii. Oh, the Wii. Oh yeah, the Wii with a uh, that was the the crazy gimmick that just fucking hit it out of the park. Um, definitely the worst processing power wise. But I mean, we all remember the day where someone bought the Wii and then we went over to their yeah. place to fucking play Wii Sports every day, every after fucking school. yeah, dude. I and like forever. And Twilight Princess being the big, the big one on there, and then the Mario Kart, big launch title, yeah. Uh, Mario Kart Seven, I think was that one. Um, Mario Kart Wii. Oh, Mario uh, Kart Wii. I'm Mario sorry. Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah. Mario, yeah, it's one of the best Super uh, Mario games. It also eventually did get Skyward Sword, another Zelda game. Yeah, yeah, that's a killer. I mean, there's a killer game library in that. And Classics you can download. Um, you can download Punch the Out, hit, Metroid Prime Three, the hit. Uh, yeah. Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles, My Life as a King. I mean, the series <laughs> S, no, a dark Lord. the series S and X, also continuing the tradition of being horribly titled consoles. Series S E X, yes. That's a console uh, right the there. series Sex. Um, I uh, that we should just call it that, just series to shorten sex. it up. The series Sex. Make it make it like sound like we're just kind of like lazily not ending the, the series S. Sex. <laughs> yeah. Um. It uh, it's just like the PS5 situation. It's just like I I don't know what it's capable of yet. I don't know what original games will be on here that'll blow everybody's mind. You know, I don't know. So that's this week's version of the uh, what is it the fucking website from last episode? We were talking the Team Cherry. Yeah, yeah. Team Team Cherry <laughs> Can't tell if I'm saying Teen or Team. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Xbox Series Sex. Uh, it's um, it's clearly the Wii. The Wii is one of the greatest consoles, and we're we're against a brand new console that hasn't been proven yet. Yeah, well, um, sorry. I don't know. I mean, I didn't really play that much on the Wii. Uh, uh, I played a lot at other people's <clears throat> houses. Oh, I played Wii Sports is one of the best things that's ever been made. I think it's amazing, <laughs> and I still crack out the Wii to play Wii Sports every so often. Yeah, and I did you know they're making another one for um Switch? By the way, I heard that. Yeah, I don't know how. I guess they have theirs is kind of motiony, right? They'll have to do some kind of attachment. Yeah, it could work. Um, it'll. I mean, it'll be fun to see the drift. That'll be a joy. <laughs> um, I think Brula earlier said we don't have to bring that up. Uh, yeah, we do. Every time. 
Yeah, it's Drift versus Red Ring of Death. Um, you know, we got to come up with all the problems with these fucking consoles. Yeah. PS3. The great, the great uh, console malfunction debate. Yeah, PS, yeah which PS3 is worse. eventually overheating uh, and eventually not being able to play PS1 games for some fucking reason. Yeah, it's happening in mine now, too. It's crazy. It's weird. Um, memory card wipes on the older console, just like corrupted memory the cards. The Engage existing. Yeah. And Gage's phone uh Taco, yeah. Hold your phone like a dumbass <laughs> function. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's quite a bit that the Game Boy Advance's battery life being atrocious. Especially um, considering there's no backlight. Like what are you even powering? But the Wii is actually like remarkably solid for how much it doesn't feel like it should be solid. Like it just feels like it's gonna break, but it never does. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah Switch, it, it feels however. like a cheap console, and there's a lot of like trash games on that fucking thing because it got super popular super quick. Yeah. So they just fucking pumped out all these like dog shit shovelware games. But but I have extremely fond memories with the Wii. There's a yeah. lot, a lot of great uh, stuff for it, and a lot of like class. Now there's a good, good slew of classic games from the Wii. Um, or yeah. what, what would be considered classic now that's been two generations past. So, <laughs> or three. three. Brulo says, Nintendo with a great showing in round one from a podcast that hates Nintendo. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't hate Nintendo. I don't hate Nintendo, but Sony's coming to town here pretty soon. So it's going to be, uh, we're going to be backhanded. It's going to be tough. I know in my mind, there's a, there's a Popeye's, uh, Chick-fil-A, uh, argument in my mind already. I mean, there's going to have to be, especially considering the first round of the next thing is going to be PlayStation 4 versus PlayStation 2. Oh, that's hard. I think yeah. those are the two, those might be, in my opinion, the two best consoles. That's... And I'm not sure. I've got... I've got a different opinion. Yeah. Super yeah. Nice. Uh, I will not. I will not mention... You won't mention uh, Super NES right now. I will not mention the Super NES at this moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, how do you feel about the Super Nintendo versus the PS3? I think that uh, one's I think that one's easy. I I think that PS3 was the one where the exclusives there's great exclusives on the PS3. Uh, I would agree. No doubt. It was for its time the most expensive fucking thing on the planet. <laughs> yeah. They really screwed the pooch on that. I'm glad it's a Blu-ray player, though. Uh, that helped me out for a little while. Um, uh, you could everything you could do on the Xbox 360, you could eventually do on the PlayStation 3. Although they took some time, sometimes, to to get stuff over there. Um, Wait, so hold on. We should discuss this next time because <laughs> that is the that is. Uh, so it's the Wii, I'm guessing. Instead yeah. of the oh, Xbox yeah, the Series Wii. X. Yeah, the Wii is got to okay. be the Xbox Series X. Because Zach also said the Wii for Wii Sports specifically, so I think we're all in unison there. Okay. Oh, did and we the not? Last round, uh, the last round one bracket is the Sega Master System versus the PSP. Um, I don't know what the Master System is. <laughs> so, the PSP. It was the, it was the, uh, it was the 8-bit Sega console that they put out before the Genesis. Oh, it really? Was... They had one? In direct comp, yeah, I know, right? It was it was in direct competition with the NES. Uh, oh. Some of its games include, uh, can I get best selling? Probably can not. I get best selling Master Does System anybody games? Give a shit? That's the question. There's some website that keeps on every time I'm like looking for games. It'll be like the top 25 games from this console. And that's a useful list. Uh whatever their subjective opinion is on that usually has some like good top ones. Um, so that, 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 uh, yeah, that other, that other bracket you, you had me start talking about wasn't actually a bracket. Is that what you're saying? A four. Yeah. That's the first no, it one. is. It's, it's for next time. Oh, it's for next time. Okay. My memory. Will Unless work. you want to have the SNES PS three debate right now. Nope. <laughs> nope. Good point. Um, PSP, I think, uh, I mean, PSP is actually a PlayStation um, portable console that uh, actually has exclusives on it. Um, <laughs> so it wins just by default. Strong system, uh, powerful system, definitely ahead of its time when it came out, too. Because uh, it was a uh, it was against the Game Boy Advance. It was pretty pre DS. It was against the DS, but it had like multi it had it had oh, multimedia oh, 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 functionality. No, it was way before the DS, wasn't it? Am I crazy? No, it came out after. 
DS yes. came out at the end of 2004. Uh, PSP came out at the beginning of 2005. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Well, in my head, I just like, I guess I didn't know the existence of the DS for some time. They I came heard... out around the same time, but okay. the PSP came out after the DS. That's interesting. Okay. And the Game Boy Advance still kind of had a decent presence, even in the first couple of years of the DS's life. So. Mm. So it was the first, the first ones that actually, you know, fought against Nintendo decently on the portable market. That's yeah, because the PSP did not outsell the DS at all, but it it held its own. Oh, it says it right here. The Much system... like the Sega Genesis held its own against the Super Nintendo, you fucks. The system was the most powerful portable console when it was introduced and was the first real competitor of Nintendo's handheld consoles after many ch- failed challengers such as the... Engage. Engage. <laughs> Kill switch and gauge. Oh, they're no, they're not gonna mention the Atari Lynx or the fucking. Nope. Just Whatever the fuck. Be lesser than the end gauge. It could connect with the PS2 and PS3 with any yep. USB interface. You could play remotely on that too. You play on the internet. Yep. Tons oh, of porn. Oh, I remember the. Yep. 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 Remember the porn. Remember the porn. Remember. Remember. <laughs> remember. Remember finding your friend's porn stash. Yeah, and some of them were just pictures of dicks, <laughs> and had no women in them, and you're very confused as to why. I don't know if he just like downloaded like like load, downloaded like a packet that was just like porn, but there were like some that were just pictures of dicks, and I just like was really freaked out. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck? Was oh, I this? watched I watched fucking Euro Trip the other night, and I forgot I'm not about the part say who this person is. is. I'm not gonna out him. Oh, so it wasn't Craig. No, it wasn't okay. great. I was it was Cameron. He was no, Craig's, um, Craig's yeah. porn collection was that it was very tame, and uh, I'll leave it there. He's a gentleman. <laughs> and he likes his drawings. Uh, uh, I was yeah, watching. I was, right. That was the other. Part what you were yeah. saying though, Joe? I was watching Euro Trip the other night, and I forgot about the scene where they go to like they think they're eating hash brownies in Amsterdam, and he's like, "I saw gay porn once." <laughs> it's just the girls never came, man. The girls never came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. I will tell you, uh, uh, Euro Trip. I definitely had rewound the part where she's like, like playing with her boob in the pool, in the hot tub. I, I, yeah, at the I, I definitely as a, I don't know how old I was, eighteen maybe, eighteen year old. I definitely jerked off to that scene a few times. <laughs> Man, yeah. you, you remember yeah. how like easy it was to just beat off to any any and everything back in the day? I still can. Yeah, just fine. I guess I just don't try. Not any and everything, but you know, women. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like, I'm like ketchup packet. No, yeah, nothing like that. Just ketchup packet make your, anyone uh, else want to beat off. Arnold Schwarzenegger off? poster on the roof of your I car. Have, I have no trouble. Yeah, I'm. I still am just as horny as I was then. Yeah, I know. That's uh, yeah. All right, maybe not anything and everything. Not just everything. most things and just about everything. <laughs> so the PSP wins. Kind of balls looking real it. nice. A PSP wins this one. Yeah, right? definitely. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking message Zach and be like Sega Master System versus PSP, and he's like, "What the fuck is a Master System?" He's like, "Is that some kind of white supremacist?" <laughs> <laughs> it only came out uh, in the south. Okay, so yeah, vote for the black guy. Hashtag First PSP. round's over. <laughs> Next time we do this, it'll be the PS4 versus the PS2, the SNES versus the PS3, the PlayStation versus the Xbox, the N64 versus the Game Boy, the 3DS versus the Switch, the TurboGrafx-16 versus the DS, the uh, Atari 2600 versus the NES, <laughs> and the Wii versus the PSP. These are, These are uh, tough. Half of them are, like, ridiculous. Yeah, and it's only going to get harder from here on out. And then the other half minus the Turbo Graphics one are still kind of hard. Like I don't know what I'm going to choose. Yeah, uh, like I say, I'm still hard. Yeah. <laughs> Every day. Constantly. Day. I'm usually yeah, I'm, I'm usually hard a couple times a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then when you're about to drift off to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, that's when the memories return. But then I'm like, oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, don't 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 uh, <laughs> don't do that uh, <laughs> 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 fucking god i wish you still had that fucking dirge of cerberus sound on your soundboard oh uh, oh, oh. oh. 
<laughs> you might have to just send me <sighs> that fucking scene on YouTube so I could just like <sighs> noise cancel the music out of it myself. I don't know how it works so well, dude. I can't imagine that noise cancellation working like that ever again. Because it's so funny. <laughs> like, oh, man. Oh. oh. <laughs> Who has that your PC? Is it Jake? Yeah, it might still be on there. Oh, then we could just file transfer it. We can get it back. Yeah. Um. All right, Because, I mean, other than that, I just have... I have got to get my dick sucked. But I mean, like... That was good. No. That um, was good. Let's, uh... Yeah, crazy... Crazy bracket. Hopefully next month we can do uh, Halo 4. Hopefully you guys play that Metroid game. We've been waiting on you guys to review. I'm beating, I'm waiting on Zach to beat it. I finished it months ago. Okay. Didn't Zach say he wasn't going to play it? I, I don't, don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't remember him saying that. Said something about like, I'll 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 ask him later. I'll be like, "Hey, you said you were going to beat Metroid Dread. What happened to that?" It's probably hard, so he doesn't want to. Yeah. It's hard, but it's doable. The, yeah. Uh, I like how we call it Barrett Cum, even though it's like... He was wearing a Metroid Dread shirt today, for fuck's sake. That's true, yeah. Needs a review. All right, guys. Um, How many months are we going to go without a drawing twice? Mm, I'll do it before I mix this one of these episodes. I'll take your word for it. Um, (laughs) Let's, uh, yeah, let's get out of here, guys. Um... Hopefully, we actually did a drawing sometime this month, and uh, congratulations to the winner. Uh, winners should be multiple. Hopefully. Um, this was the Great Console Debate Part 1. Uh, give it, what, Whatever your thoughts were on the consoles, I would love to hear them in Discord. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, the link will be in the description of this episode or on our pinned on our twitter right yep and that is at nude clan podcast i'm at joseph de on twitter and on instagram follow me on instagram because i actually use it uh twitter is a cesspool and i hate it so i pretty much hardly ever get on there i'm at uff podcast i'm at a4 extreme uh and also if 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 schweiss did in fact do drawings uh if you wanted to try and win those drawings you could give us money on patreon and then you get entered for votes on the drawing not not votes uh Entries. It's like buying a Entries. ticket to a raffle. Yep. So, thank you for all who support the show, and for listening, and for sharing with your friends. We really appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah, share a little more. Live always in the nude. Walk with your Sega Genesis held high. God damn it. Uh, fuck off. Yeah.